What's good everybody? It's been two and a half years since my last setup video. To be fair with you, I've been slacking on getting that one out because I've already changed a couple of things here and there. Now quite recently, a lot of the times on the streams and in game, my PC has been lagging like hell. It's been 10 to 15 second freezes. I mean, yeah, just have a look at it. No, not now. Oh, I'm lagging on A's. If they push out A, I, I'm freezing. You can offer. You gotta stop them. Okay. What? What? Did I did I kill yeah. myself with a molly? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can flash you through. One more. Yeah, I'm lagging. <laughs> GG. So that was a spark that ignited a setup change. By setup change, I mean a complete PC overhaul. Intel and Case King have stepped forward and delivered me a new... Now, PC is an understatement. PC is honestly an understatement. That's the most overkill machine that I've ever had in my hands. Just a really quick disclaimer. Most of the stuff that I have in my setup Basically, 90% of my entire setup is um, provided by companies to me for free. I'm not getting paid to endorse these products here, but I'm making sure that whatever I ask the companies to deliver is the quality products that I use to you, that I want to use. So these products, I'm not just using them because there's some sort of a, hey, it's free stuff. I'm using them because I'm 100% convinced of everything of that. Not getting paid to do this video, but you definitely need to know that most of these things are free. I think except the camera and the audio setup, everything other than that is gifted. Thank you. In a time when lawmen were all boss, a thief, a cutthroat, and a bounty hunter face an enemy of a new kind. Through the uncharted lands of the West, a fistful of men ride for the Black Water. And we're going to start with the most important piece, the heart of this entire thing, which is the new PC. I just turned it off. <laughs> Fuck it. We're going to start with the most important piece of the puzzle, the heart, the PC. The thing that I've teased on Twitter 24-7 and while you're seeing it right now, yes. It's a 7,000 euro PC, a King Mod System 3-day special by Case King, powered by the Intel Core i9. Just from the outside, you already see how special this thing actually is. I mean, just have a look at it. The PC is running with an Intel Core i9 9900KS 4.0 GHz Coffee Lake. When I hold in right now and think about it for a second, it's an actual crazy experience. For as long as I can remember, I've had Intel PCs. And now I get one sent by Intel with a powerhouse i9 in it. It's just a crazy thing, honestly. G-Skill Trident Z Neo Series DDR4 3600 CL1660 4GB quad kit ram including a gigabyte hours geforce rtx 2080 ti a one terabyte ssd an eight terabyte hdd powered with 750 watt overall all of that is boxed in a fantax Anthos 719 big tower and it's put together onto the main board the gigabyte set 390 hours master obviously made for intel rounded up with an overly fancy and expensive ek custom water cooling system 10 fans three on the bottom three on the top two on each side blue leds as well blue is kind of being my color you know like if you watch the stream and everything like that blue is just the color man and all of that very very clean with perfect cable management Unfortunately, I wasn't able to provide a vectorized logo of my penguin. Otherwise, that would have been engraved as well in the glass side of the case. So, 
Yeah, it's my bad. It could have looked 11 out of 10, but this is just a 10 10. Thank you again, Intel and Case King, for making this one happen. It's just phenomenal. Hey, hey, the heart of the entire setup is building up. This is the machine, the PC that I've just presented. You have a streaming PC on the right, you have the main gaming PC over here. All of it is connected with one keyboard, one mouse. It's just one USB switch. So I'm not having two of those like some streamers have. I prefer the option of just having one keyboard, one mouse, and I just, yeah, I just click one button and it goes from one PC to the other connected by a little USB thingy. I'm gonna call it USB thingy because I do not exactly know how it's called. It's a KMS switch. It's a KMS switch. Kill myself, please. Keyboard mouse. Oh, keyboard mouse That's switch. I am using two mouse pads just for the sake because I cannot handle this little edge, the edges of the desk. I absolutely hate them. So I'm using one big mouse pad to get rid of those. I don't use a regular webcam. My webcam is actually the camera that I vlog with. I'm having one, two, three monitors. The middle one is the one that I'm gaming with. The one on the left side is, well, Discord, TeamSpeak, whatever you want to put on it. And that one on the far left of yours, on the far right of mine, is the one that is being displayed with the streaming PC. So there's usually, there's OBS, there's the alerts on it, and the chat is on that PC. Hence why it's put vertically. The cable management is pretty nice. Honestly, that's actually pretty nice. You don't really see it. <laughs> Printer, all of this fancy ass audio setup. Yeah, but that's my setup in a nutshell. It's clean, it's pretty straightforward, and it's probably overkill. But who wouldn't mind having an overkill setup, right? Now let me talk briefly about everything else that I have in my setup, and that is a lot. I'm running a dual PC setup, even an RTX 2080 to have my streaming PC, so another overkill piece of hardware. I'm streaming, of course, and I'm recording locally via my streaming PC everything that has to do with my gameplay. I'm running three times the Zyber BenQ XL2546, 240Hz, DIAC enabled. Keep in mind that this monitor is even developed with Counter-Strike as the prime example. So if you're a Counter-Strike player, I'm just going to keep it simple. This monitor is the way to go. The camera that I'm running for my setup is a Panasonic's Lumix GH5, connected via 3 meter HDMI cable. The power adapter, instead of a battery, a Valimex Pro 10mm wide angle lens, a Manfrotto super clamp, an articulated arm and some fitting screws to make the camera fit perfectly the way I wanted for the stream. In the background, I also use a Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam as an overall webcam, so it kind of looks like this. Also very, very important for streaming uh, and generally just content creating is of course the audio setup. And I would say my audio is pretty goddamn solid. The microphone is a Shure SM7B. It's kind of the same like a lot of people use nowadays in podcasts and streams on YouTube. It's got to be one of the most reoccurring microphones that is in this entire content creation world. It sounds really good. It is definitely not overly expensive. And I've coupled it with the following. An RCF LPAD 8ZX mixer, a DBX286S compressor, Triton audio fed head amplifier, and a Rode PSA1 articulated tripod. The chair is a Noble Chess Hero real leather black chair. Honestly, when it comes to the gaming chairs, Noble Chairs is probably the best I've ever used thus far, and I've used a couple. Now the gaming gear, I don't really think I have to tell you much about that. Ever since x got launched back in the day when I was still working for NIP and it got obviously launched by NIP, I've never looked back and I've never used anything else than x Can definitely recommend 1010 quality products. I'm using the x K2, it's an RGB mechanical keyboard, even has my name on the back, an M3 mouse, a GP1 extra large. The actual mousepad that is in use is the GP1 3 day edition mousepad by them. A B1 mouse bungee with a USB hub. I really don't use the USB hub though. And an H2 Pro Gaming headset. That was my setup in all of its glorious details. At this point, I have to give a huge shout out to all of the companies that are providing me with the hardware that is needed for uh, streaming, for creating content generally. Thank you very much. You see it all along in my entire setup, uh, which companies are usually 
very, very helpful in that regard. So thank you very much to all of you. And of course, a special, uh, really big, special, super big, bam, shout out to Case King and Intel Gaming for providing the beast of a PC, the machine that is, wait, what was the benchmark? I think we, we benchmarked it early on a Counter-Strike map, which was 1,650 maximum FPS in Counter-Strike. And I'm just gonna look forward now to work on that machine, go ahead with all the rendering. It's gonna be just, yeah, it's gonna, it's definitely, it's definitely gonna cut down on the time that I spend on everything. It's gonna make it all much more smoother. So thank you very much, Case King again, Intel. Appreciate it very, very much. Wish you a pleasant 220. See you on the streams. Hope you enjoy the videos. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe with the bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you.